children demonstrate what we perceive to be difficult behaviours for a, for a variety of different reasons. More often than not, it is the communication of something. So this is a child that hasn't quite got the tools to communicate effectively or in a safe way. So the most effective way they know how is to bite another child. When we're thinking about behaviour, it's really handy to put that behaviour or analyse that behaviour in a way that uses the ABC model. So what we're looking at is the A standing for the antecedent, so the thing that's happening before the behaviour, which is the biting. The B, the behaviour itself, so biting. And C, the consequences that surround that behaviour. So we need to be really careful with that because sometimes it's our responses to the behaviour that is actually reinforcing the behaviour recurring again. Difficult behaviours such as biting may exist for a variety of different reasons, such as to escape from attention or to gain attention, to escape from pain or for physical pleasure, or to escape from a task or to go and do something that's more preferred or desirable. So it's really important to consider all of these kinds of reasons so it can help us narrow down our focus and apply appropriate strategies when we're working with